Hi. Today we're going to talk about how to build a monthly budget um, for your household or family. And uh, to start with, I've opened up a spreadsheet here and I've put some default columns in, such as, uh, well, this is a, a one month budget here with your income, the top, expenses on the side. I've kind of formatted stuff a little bit to start and put a title. And uh, from here, we want to show how you can make um, a monthly household budget spreadsheet um, that you can use for years to uh, manage and hopefully improve your budget. Start uh, off by, um, I can what I can do here is format, oh, not the, uh, we can format the uh, background color to yellow. These yellow cells are where you would enter the data. Kind of makes it more clear what's a formula and what you've entered. And uh, so once you've got a basic thing like this, and I'm I'm going to put this on our site at budgetways.com, and uh, you'll be able to download a copy for yourself. So you can take January here, and you can basically copy this right out to December and it automatically puts the months across. Now what it does do is, uh, it's, for some reason it adds one to every number, but you can go back in each month and input these yourself. And uh, basically that turns one month into 12 months. It saves you a lot of uh, copying and pasting later on. And then what you'd want to do once you get a, a budget like this is you can actually take the uh, entire copy the entire thing and either go down below this or onto another spreadsheet and paste. And here you can create a spreadsheet that shows monthly percent changes. And here we will replace all of this information here. delete everything there. Okay, and then what you could do is you can look at each month's change. So since January doesn't have a previous month yet, you start with February and you can go up here and say February's income divided by January minus one gives you a percent change. Format that as a percent and you can see uh, 0.2% here. Now we can literally just copy that, paste it over the entire area, and then we can clean up the other cells. don't have calculations. Okay. And this part actually can stay. You can keep this. It'll automatically update each month as you put numbers in. So for example, now you can go through and clear out all of your future months. All right. I didn't want to delete the formats, but uh, Still getting used to Open Office, to be honest. Formats. How about we delete text numbers, date time, formulas. All right. And here, literally just uh, copy. special formats. And same up here. 
copy and paste formats. All right, so what this gives us is a blank household budget spreadsheet. It goes out for the entire year, and then down below, it will show your percentage increase or decrease so you can track your monthly savings and how well your budget's doing overall. So let's say this is our January. Say we make 60000 a year. Say it's $5,000 a month. Let's say you, you get a slight raise, $5,500 a month. And your rent is something that's going to stay, or mortgage is going to stay the same. Your rent could possibly go up. Your property taxes is computed off of an annual amount. Home insurance is part of an annual expense, and then your car payments. Let's say you bought a new car, and your new car payment is 600 Your old is 500 Your maintenance might go down a little bit, but your insurance might go up. And you probably still pay the same for parking. Here, let's say that you made an effort to spend less on groceries and eat out less often. And since you eat out less often, your grocery bill goes up a little bit, but your dining out drops a lot and a few less snacks at work and you cut out your coffee every other day and your utilities stay the same all right so you can look at your budget here february versus january and it's not really easy to see when you're looking you know this versus that, but if you come down to this percent change and you look, you can see that your income went up 10% and you reduced your expenses by 3% and oh boy, I have a let's see here I thought there was a typo here. The monthly savings up 100%, but it actually it is because you see your savings went from 640 to 1280. So it's literally up 100% for February. You can see you cut down your expenses, you raised your income a little. Um, I mean, obviously, no one could expect to do that well in one month. But let's say the next month you fill it in. Similar data. Let's say you end up spending a little bit more on food and you start dining out more often. Kind of blow your budget a little bit, but not as bad as you used to. And you can see how your savings drop. Your budget still a healthy budget. Um, as in, you save over 10% of your salary, 5,500. If you save 550 or more, it's over 10%. That's pretty good. And then you can come down here and see how your monthly budget's working. So, this spreadsheet is a great tool to track your expenses over the long run. Um, when you fill up this year, you copy the whole sheet, make a new one, add in your formulas. Uh, of course, you'll need to add lots of new categories in here, not you know, so you have all your expenses tracked break them out however you want to do it, however it's easiest. And uh, anyway, again, this is from uh, budgetways.com, and you can visit our site and download a copy of this uh, budget template. And, uh, or come, come by and see some of our other videos and articles about budgeting. Um, great. Thank you again. This is Chris from uh, Budget Ways. Have a good day.